Hello everyone. We have Rakesh with us today and uh, he is doing really great with his YouTube channel. He is also YouTuber like me and he is doing I I must say that I was inspired by him when I was watching his videos then I thought okay I should also start uh, something like that some initiative like that from my end and uh, as he was he inspired me so I thought to invite him and uh, as he accepted my request and he is here so i want to introduce you with rakesh hi rakesh yeah hi swapna how are you i'm doing really great i uh, hope you are doing great too yeah yeah thank you so much for inviting me on this channel i'm excited to be here i'm so glad and it was not actually a request but it was a mutual mutual understanding and uh, <laughs> we are here i'm so happy to have to be a part of your channel itself that's really great um and also would you like to uh, give us some introduction about yourself yeah sure so uh, i am rakesh and i have almost 11.5 years of experience in testing as well as in robotic process automation so i am involved in uh, manual testing automation testing with selenium and i am working on uh, projects that involve robotic process automation especially automation anywhere ui part tools and i have been working in one of the company as a qa manager over there so yeah that's it yeah that's that's really great mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i actually i want to ask you few uh, questions from uh, my you my uh, subscribers who have been mm -hmm. commenting uh, me and i thought you would be the best person to answer those questions so i thought i should just present you those questions and uh, we'll start with the first one and which is mm -hmm. um like there are many people here who uh, want to start uh, their career in software testing and they mm. have no prior knowledge about software testing so what would be the first step that they should take uh, for uh, pursuing or for starting their career in the software testing mm -hmm. sure so uh, see the very first thing and the foremost that comes to my mind is about the passion if you are passionate about working with the softwares if you know like this is how it's going to be my life like everyone is having their own sort of you know kind of uh, motivation thing or they want to achieve something in life so passion plays a very important role for all of us because software testing is not going to be a one day or a two day job for all of us if we are going to make a career in it it's going to be maybe 15 years 20 years down the line right so yes. one should be very passionate about it they should be uh, feeling happy from inside that yes this is my game this is where i will stay yes. second thing is about developing an analytical skill mm -hmm. now let's say if i want to test something so i should be able to analyze first of all that thing let's say if we can take an example of uh, testing e-commerce websites we can start from them we have got amazon.com flipkart.com we can just access those websites then we can also switch to gmail yahoo mail and we can check how those kind of softwares are working and we can try to write the test scenarios how i'll be testing while writing test scenarios again we have to focus on positive and negative as well so over there we have to train our mind i'll say we will have to sharpen our mind that okay this is how i am going to test it and then we can refer to you know blogs or videos over there and we can see how much did i or to what extent was i performing well right so that kind of analytical skill will have to develop by ourselves in house there are other people also who can help us in getting this training but then uh, we can try to first develop this kind of skill set within ourselves in and in within you know one or two weeks will come to know whether this is going to be my field or not yeah yeah and uh, there are many videos in the youtube itself that could help them for uh, the uh, just to basic knowledge about the software testing and automation testing as you know uh, beginning level so yeah so material is there just if anybody wants to start they should actually have the pa passion uh, within them and should just follow the path and check all the material in the youtube itself and if we 
talk about the same topics what kind of certification uh, would you suggest uh, the one should uh, get uh, for starting their career in the software testing for the beginning level okay so at the beginning level i think istqb foundation level certification is good um it's around uh, you know 40 questions are there all mm-hmm. are multiple choice questions mm-hmm. and there is no negative marking in this kind of certification right. so you just have to brush up your skills like you have to be knowing about the basics of software testing what is equivalence partition boundary value analysis static testing dynamic testing types of testing mm-hmm. and then out of 40 you need to score more than 26 65% is the uh, passing criteria for this kind of certification then after foundation there is advanced but i think that is uh, someone can take it up if they have almost 2 to 3 years of experience but i think foundation is good to start to begin with a career like software testing yeah that's that's really great yeah and also uh, sometimes um uh, i have uh, received some questions like that that uh, people uh, want to switch their uh, field like they have uh, been doing some uh, uh, higher studies or they are working into uh, some other uh, field and now they want to switch into uh, let's say Uh, some other uh, technical field but they want to switch into the software testing so i think the same criteria would apply would be applicable for them as well yes yes definitely and when someone wants to switch to software testing then they should not think about whether they should start with automation or manual testing and that time they should think yeah let us move to the software testing and let us start with manual testing itself there is no harm in doing manual testing right. and manual testing is going to be there even yes. if you have so many tools and technologies for automation but still a person would be able to automate a scenario if he is he or she is having a very clear cut idea about which are the proper test scenarios to be tested so for that again manual testing is required yes right? yes so definitely they should not hesitate to switch to the software testing field it's one of the evergreen i would say uh, the field that is available in the it industry right right following with the same question i would like to ask the one um uh, who is uh, looking for the job change or looking applying for the software testing jobs mm, let's say two or three years of experience person how much uh, of uh, manual uh, pers- how much percentage of manual testing knowledge and how much percentage of automation testing knowledge uh, they should have mm-hmm. if experience of 2 to 3 years then it might would have happened that he would he or she would not have got opportunity to do automation testing mm-hmm. so they interview of a job role who they are demanding to have you as 50% of manual 50% of automation so you can tell them that i didn't get that opportunity till now mm-hmm. basically with the projects that i have been working on but he has given an opportunity i would try to um make myself you know keep up to that mark that i should be able to do automation generally if people are having 2 to 3 years of overall experience mm-hmm. then their manual testing would be more because people generally get an opportunity to start the career with manual testing only very few people are there they will be able to start with automation testing mm-hmm. but then again their manual testing skill they will have to switch so it's like you know if they starting with if they are starting with automation then they have overall 2 to 2 and a half years of experience in automation That's itself but right. if they are starting with manual mm. then it's like you know 2 years they have it manual one year or six months they would have worked on automation testing like that yeah, yeah. in terms of uh, automation uh, so what do you think like uh, which uh, tools and technology is going on in the market that uh, if somebody want to switch uh, or want to learn into automation uh, so how they should start Correct. in the beginning yeah mm-hmm. right now let's say uh, again in automation itself there are two kinds of tools now available one is the selenium through which we can automate the web applications it is again an open source tool you can learn that tool mm-hmm. it's an open source tool you can just install those uh, jar files into your machine and you can 
create the automation script but for that particular tool you need to have a good command on one of the programming language let's say java is there or python is there whichever you are comfortable with now if if you want to go for a robotic process automation that is altogether a new field that has come into the market i think since two to five years so again in that you have got tools like automation anywhere ui path mm -hmm. and i think from 2021 january mm -hmm. they we are also having community edition like it is also available online freely available for using it and for learning these tools so mm -hmm. again that is also one of the option to go for automation right. you can learn those kind of rpa tool any one of the tool ui path or maybe automation anywhere and you can do some hands on experience with that mm. so again scripting is not required over there while scripting is required in selenium so it totally depends on what thing you are looking for yeah but yeah. both both the options are very good for automation yeah yeah and um um uh, anything about the application automation mobile automation if you think um i think for mobile uh, apm is there APM. that is particularly yeah used in the companies that is good to learn mm -hmm. but um, i think more to be on a more generic side uh, it should be it would be good if one learns selenium at least basics of selenium one can learn yes. and they can try to get some hands on experience in automation yeah, yeah. and again many material is there in the youtube itself uh, that people can learn uh, selenium web driver and apm and even uh, robotic i think uh, people should just follow your channel itself you have like plenty of uh, videos created for the robotic uh, technology i guess right right so rpa videos are also there in my youtube channel but i would say you know uh, first of all the passion should be there Yeah. even if you don't have any one to guide you but you should be able you should be always be standing with yourself yeah. every day we need to spend almost 30 minutes or 45 minutes for sure consistently yeah. that yes today i would be learning about this topic Let, let's say to, today you might be learning about java variables yeah. tomorrow you have to learn about constructors and all those things right. Right. you have to keep yourself upgrading because yes covid 19 yeah covid 19 pandemic has shown us our true worth yes right. yes that's true that's true and even yes. your channel is also there many people yeah. can get an idea how to get job how to create a good cv as mm -hmm. you are also working in a good company mm -hmm. and you are also taking care of recruitment and mm -hmm. and test management activities as well so mm -hmm. definitely it's good to subscribe this channel as well Thank you so much for coming into my channel and these were the my questions and you have been uh, answered really great and I hope this all these answers and our initiative will help people and we'll see how it goes uh, and people who are watching please keep coming your comments if you need any improvements or if you want more questions so let us know so we can coordinate again and we can talk about your questions Thank you so much sure. for your time and thank you so much for your effort and uh, yeah I'm really thanks to you to also Swapna <laughs> yeah I just uh, thanks to you as well Swapna you have been doing a uh, tremendous good work and you have been uploading so many videos and I'll definitely you know share this share your channel link with all my audience as well and within my network yeah, yeah. thank you so much. So um uh this is it for this video and I will be seeing you in the next video so thank you so much have a lovely day and please keep watching my channel and subscribe like and share my videos and have a lovely day ahead